Texas, we've seen some crazy things. I think you are about, we are about to outdo ourselves tonight. What is this? This is the original Bigfoot. This is the tallest, the biggest, and the original of all the Bigfoot. 10-foot tires, the truck's over 15-foot tall. Bigfoot, 10-foot tall tires, the truck's over 15-foot tall. This is the original. This is the heaviest and the biggest of all the monster trucks. This is Bigfoot. Well, somewhere up there is the cab. How do you get into it? Bob, it's a real trick. This Budweiser, United States Hot Rod Association Monster Truck and Mud Bog Racing Championship, brought to you by Budweiser, the genuine article. Each would age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. Bob Kurtz and Mike Galloway joined here on the floor of the Kingdom in Seattle by Jim Kramer, who drives this machine, Bigfoot. You stand and you look back at these things, Jim. They're 10 feet. Obviously, you don't. Where do you get tires like this? Well, believe it or not, I bought them right here in Seattle, in this town, about five miles down the road. And uh, about three years ago, we picked them up, and it took us a while to find a, a way to build a truck that we could utilize this type of tire. There's got to be a story, but how old are these things? They look like they've been around a while. They're probably as old as you are. They're a little over 34 years old, and uh, they haven't been produced for probably 20 years. And they used them up in the Alaska tundra in the springtime when the tundra would start to thaw. They could transport goods, materials across the tundra without sinking. Not very many of them in production, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, no, there's not. There's probably only a handful made. Jim, what kind of axles do you have to have to turn the 10-foot tall tires? When we built the truck, we really ran into problem with the axles. We use all Rockwell standard components, but we take four axles, cut them apart, and take the best components from all four axles and make two good, strong axles. Uh, it takes that type of engineering to, to, to hold a torque and the tracks that this tire can put out. Gear reduction must be something tremendous with this kind of tire on it. Uh, what kind of gear reduction are we looking at? On the low side of our transfer case, uh, you're looking at up into 300 numbers for gear reduction. Uh, that kind of limits us on speed. On the low side, we shift to the high side of the transfer case, and uh, we can probably achieve 60 miles an hour if you could find somebody to drive it that fast. It's an amazing story. Bigfoot, one of a kind. Now, I started out this with a regular pickup. Each year it got a little bigger and 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 a little bigger. I had no idea what I was going to do.